Hey guys, what's going on? Today Apple just released iOS 12 developer beta 4. So I have this installed here on my iPhone. It is something different this time. I didn't go into settings and software update. Uh, instead, I just went to the Apple developer website, downloaded the IPSW file and installed it via iTunes. I found out that was way faster. I saved about 10 to 15 minutes because usually when a new beta comes out, everyone is rushing to the OTA update page on their iPhone. And in some cases it can take up to 20 minutes before the update even shows on your iPhone software update page right here. So uh, that is just a little tip if you want to install the betas a lot faster next time, uh, just download the IPSW file from the developer website and install it via iTunes. So that's what I did and I was able to get this beta installed a lot faster. But really here in beta 4 there is not much new to mention. There are a few little changes here like uh, the messages app and the music application. We will get to that later. Uh, but there are a few things that I want to discuss that are kind of bugging me in beta 3 that Apple did not fix in this recent update beta 4. So. The first thing is the darkening of the wallpaper. So Apple wasn't darkening your wallpaper in beta one and beta two. They started darkening it, darkening it in beta three, and it is still darkened in beta four. So I have a screenshot here to show you, and if this doesn't really show it off for you, you can go uh, onto your actual iPhone and compare screenshots next to each other, because uh, this is eye-opening. So this is what my wallpaper looks like um, on my actual home screen. I took a screenshot, and this is what Apple tells you your wallpaper looks like. It's so much more vibrant when they show you this preview versus on your actual home screen. I don't know if this is gonna show up on video because my camera might not be able to capture all the colors uh, of, the, of the wide color gamut on my iPhone, but try it out for yourself. Take a screenshot of your actual home screen uh, of the default iOS 12 wallpaper and then compare it to what Apple tells you it looks like in this little preview section of your wallpaper. It will be eye-opening for you. I really wish it goes back to like this, like it was in beta one and beta two, but we can only hope that Apple will change that in the next two weeks here. Um, I am noticing some you know, speed improvements, more fluidity of the UI. That might just be the placebo effect because it's a brand new beta, but of course, as new betas do come out, it is gonna get faster and more stable. Uh, inside messages, there are a few more activity stickers. So if you go into the activity app, uh, you can see here there are a few more stickers here and they are animated, so that's kind of cool. So if you have a friend that has an Apple Watch and you're being you know, competitive with all your activities and stuff, uh, Apple did add a few more stickers here like uh, this crown rotating and a few trophies and ping pong rackets. So it's kind of cool that Apple does have this and I do like how they are uh, animated like that. Uh, another small change that I, uh, I found on Reddit and I think it is new, but I cannot really confirm. Uh, the music toggles here, the play, pause, and skip buttons are a little bit smaller. I do think they are smaller, because I remember yesterday I was driving in my car and I remember uh, skipping songs. These buttons did feel bigger last time I used them, so I think Apple did shrink down uh, the uh, play, pause button and the skip buttons just a little bit, because I think the space between these buttons uh, is a bit bigger. Um, one thing that Apple did change in beta three, I'm just gonna mention it again because I really do appreciate it, um, is the 3D touch on songs is now fixed whenever you are uh, jumping fast between songs. So if you're on like a version of iOS 11, you can go ahead and try this. If you're scrolling really fast and then 3D touch on a song, it will glitch out on your list after you 3D press on the song. So the animation has been fixed and uh, the 3D touch has been fixed. So now when you release off a song, it goes back into its proper place on the list. So it's kind of hard to explain, but I am happy that Apple did fix that. Uh, I did read on Apple's developer website that iOS 12 beta 4 has some new security enhancements. So whenever you plug in a USB accessory, it will ask for your passcode. I do know this happened when you plugged it into a computer for iTunes. It said, please enter your passcode uh, to use this iPhone with iTunes. Apparently there is a new passcode UI whenever you connect uh, just a general uh, USB accessory that isn't a computer, that isn't iTunes. So you can confirm that in the comments down below if you have another USB accessory that requires a passcode. Uh, you can tell me if that does work on beta four. Uh, other than that guys, those are a few small changes in iOS uh, 12 beta four. Not as many as beta two, beta three, because we are moving down the line of betas. But that's to be expected. We are gonna see some more uh, fluidity with the UI, some more uh, general speed improvements and performance enhancements. So guys, tell me in the comments what you think about this. My name is Mike. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.